Understanding Critical Shortage, a Guide for English Learners. Hello everyone, and welcome to our English Language Learning Channel. Today, we're going to explore a commonly used phrase in English, critical shortage. This phrase is not just important for vocabulary building, but also crucial in understanding news, reports, and everyday conversations. Let's dive in and discover what it means and how to use it correctly. Critical shortage is made up of two words, critical and shortage. Let's look at them individually. Critical, this word describes something of great importance or something that is in a serious or dangerous condition. Shortage, this refers to a situation where there is not enough of something. When combined, Critical shortage describes a situation where there is a dangerously low supply of something very important. To better understand critical shortage, let's see it in different contexts. 1. Healthcare. There is a critical shortage of nurses in the hospital. 2. Environment. The critical shortage of water in the region is causing a drought. 3. Economy. The country is facing a critical shortage of skilled workers. In each of these examples, the phrase indicates a severe lack of something essential, leading to serious consequences. Knowing synonyms can help you better understand and use the phrase. Some synonyms for critical shortage include severe scarcity, acute lack, major deficit, you might also encounter related phrases like in short supply or running low on, which convey similar meanings but are not as severe as critical shortage. When using critical shortage, be careful not to confuse it with just shortage, which implies a lack, but not necessarily critical. Critical alone which can refer to a crucial point or a negative judgment but does not imply a shortage. Thank you for watching our video on critical shortage. We hope this explanation helps you understand and use this phrase correctly in your English conversations. Remember, learning English is a journey, and each new phrase is a step forward. Keep practicing, and see you in our next video.